Snow had arrived on the island of Sodor, and all the engines were working hard, delivering goods, passengers, and parcels over the whole island. Christmas was just around the corner, and preparations for the annual Christmas party at Tidmouth were being done. And all the engines on Sodor couldn't wait for it. But Sodor isn't the only one who has a Christmas party, of course. There's also Barrow Inverness on the mainland. Although it isn't a very big party every year on the mainland, the engines still enjoy seeing all those happy people singing songs together. One day, the fat controller told Thomas to meet him at Tidmouth. He had a surprise for him. Thomas couldn't wait for the Christmas party, and he couldn't stop thinking about it either. And maybe, just maybe, that's the reason why、uh, this happened. Thomas didn't know that Splatter and Dot replaced the flatbed of the sled. It was a very old flatbed, and the coupling wasn't that strong. But of course, our little blue engine didn't notice, and he went on his way back to Sodor. He was making his way to the Tidmouth branch sheds. It had been a long day, and he was very tired. The next day, Thomas woke up with an unpleasant surprise. Percy was right. There was a lot of work to do, and all the engines were very busy indeed. Everything was going fine until the engines arrived from the mainland. Luckily, no one was hurt, but Gordon couldn't move another inch. The fat controller wasn't very happy, so after some advice from Will, who ordered them to mess up, and Edward, who gave them useful advice, the two engines were ready to pull the heavy train. Jeffrey at the front, Dennis at the back. The station master whistled and waved his green flag, and they were on their way. And for the rest of the day, Jeffrey was causing a lot of confusion and delay. Meanwhile. Thomas was searching for the sled. Meanwhile, Will was sent to collect the decorations at Ellsbridge Harbour. Edward told the fat controller all about the engines and how they misbehaved. The fat controller was very cross indeed and wanted the engines to leave as quickly as possible. So the party was going to be held over on the mainland. All the engines, both Sodor and mainland engines, were working very hard to make sure everything was ready for that evening. And luckily, Gordon wasn't that much in a mess, and he was fixed in no time. The same for the sled; it luckily wasn't that much dented. It was getting dark, and all the engines were ready to go to the mainland. James, Jeffrey, and Gordon were taking passengers from Sodor to the mainland. Percy and Lady, the presents. Will and Dennis were taking the decorations that were left over, and Thomas the tank engine took the sled. All the people from Sodor came to help with the decorations. Everyone was very excited indeed. All the engines made sure everything was tip top, and there were even a lot of people from the mainland coming to help. At last, everything was ready, and the party was going to begin.